What's happening, everybody? Let me greet you, fellas. Kenya and Tanzania. Na wasalimu sana, bite, marafiki zangu. South African. Saribonani, vanga ni vami, makaya. Tumelang. Greetings, Rwandans. Bite. Amakuru. Greetings to all my people. Yeah, I can't greet everybody. Okay, Nigerians, Ghanaian, Mepacho, good afternoon. I can't greet everybody. Next time I'll do it, okay? Thank you very much for choosing us, you know. It's party all the time with us, Zach Moikasa. We are a big family. Uh, welcome you. This is your first time. Feel free to be part of us. Really, we're here to discuss about many, many things. You know, things about us, Africans, the diaspora, and things that involve us. Your first time, feel free to join us. Click on the button, subscribe so we can see each other every single day. Great stuff. Okay, I see you, fellas from Jamaica. Wagwan, me boss. Wagwan, me boss. I see you, all my people from Tobago and Trinidad, United States of America. I see you from the UK. Thank you very much. Okay, so today we're talking about United States of America. Man, that country is very interesting. <laughs> so they've come up with a story in the Congress. Uh, they've come up with a story. I mean, this, this is just insane. Okay, they want to install in cars by 2026 a system that's co called dead switch or kill switch. Okay, so basically, it's a system they're going to put in your cars uh, that's going to analyze your face as you drive. If the system judges that you are drunk or you are impaired, the car's going to stop. So this is systems AI enabled, okay, that will get uh, uh, manufacturers or the police the power to stop your car whenever they want. If they feel that you are impaired or you are drunk or you are maybe, you know, not legal or you know what I'm saying? The door opens. So this is crazy. The measure which includes $1.5 trillion infrastructure bill signed by Joe Biden, okay, it says vehicle must be equipped with an advanced drug and impaired driving prevention technology. What is that? Nobody really knows. But Congress defines it as a system that can either passively monitor a performance of a driver and detect whether he's impaired or passively impaired or whether his blood alcohol level is above legal level. You hear that? So basically, in very simple words, they're going to put in cars a system, basically a camera that's going to be looking into your face as you're driving. And the camera will judge whether you are drunk or you're not drunk. And it's going to enable the police uh, the ability to stop your car when they want. Now, this doesn't sit right with me. Okay, I don't know about you, but me, I'm not very happy with this. Because why do you need this? First of all, we have been driving the way we drive for hundreds of years okay in the 1970s let's just start from there people drove with no ai system to guide you and stop the car if you're drunk why do you need that today why does congress need to sign 1.5 trillion dollars into a bill part of the bill to get you installing in, in your car imperatively this is an obligation so basically it's like the cell phones you know we used to have cell phones that you, those 3310 Wait, 3310, the Nokias. You remember when the 3310 came out? It was the cell phone to have. <laughs> I remember. We called it cell phone with no antenna. It was like a, such a big deal. That thing was big in Africa. Massive. And today you use cell phone with screen and whatever. So you cannot run away from the system. If they adopt the system in America, you're going to be next. As simple as that. Because it's going to be for... Uh, 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 your car to be elected as decent to run in the road, it has to be equipped with a system that analyzes your face and dictates whether you are drunk or not, whether you are fit to drive, or whether the police can stop your car from a distance. Now, many people can feel, okay, maybe what's wrong with that? You know, uh, it's going to help the police to stop criminals. Good question. Um, how about somebody that has done nothing? just want to go about their life and they choose to i'm just saying they choose to elect an idea that's not necessarily the most popular idea in a country you know what i'm saying very slowly fellas i don't know how you feel about this we're very slowly moving toward the world where everything is controlled one of the senators that was against this said it almost sounds like a domain of science fiction like a dystopian science fiction at the federal government who would put a kill switch in vehicle 
She also pointed out to unknown with the upcoming technology, asking if it to use cameras, if insurance companies would access the data without permission, what sort of waiting period will restore the vehicle operability if the vehicle is stopped. Now, let me give you an example, okay? We have an AI system that's going to be scanning your face to say whether you are fit to drive or not. Okay, let me give you a very simple example. Let's say we have this woman who's got children on her back, okay, and she's driving. And as she's driving, there's an ambulance coming behind. Woo, 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 woo. And now she has to move, swiftly move the car so the ambulance can pass. Then she comes back on track. Then hey, I say, you know what, madam, stop. We're stopping you right now because you are drunk. Then this car stops in the middle of nowhere, in a place that's even more dangerous than what she was doing as a move. Who's going to take responsibility for that? You know what I'm saying? I mean, we know AI already makes a lot of errors. Have you ever had a cell phone with a screen or a camera? You have to open it with your face, but you try several times. It doesn't even open. But it's your own face that was registered prior to you installing that application. It has happened to me many times. It has happened to you, surely, on your money application, on your banking application, really? Right? Many times. I mean, I was trying to join a, a bank, uh, yeah, a new bank uh, for whatever, their credit cards. So basically, this uh, new bank is associated with an insurance company. Actually, an insurance company, a health insurance company, opened a bank branch. So this health insurance company is going to bank now. Now, I want to open an account with the bank. Now, the health insurance company want me to put my face. Okay? They want me to put my fingerprint. Then uh, they want me to switch on the geolocalization so they can know exactly where I am. And then later on, they come up with a plan saying, okay, we're going to give you some money back if you want. But uh, provided that you upload every single day uh, your training uh, regimen. So if you go training, you upload to them. If you go walk around, you upload to them. Whatever food you buy, you upload to them. At the end of the month, you're going to get some money equivalent to $50 back into your pocket. What sort of control is that? I mean, how about people just living their life the way they used to? What is wrong with the way cars are today? I'm going to tell you what's wrong with this. It's basically very simple. In America, politicians get money from sponsors, from lobbyists. These lobbyists can be big enterprises, big businesses, uh, vehicle enterprises, gun enterprises, whatever that is. So basically, these people come to politicians and they say, you know what? Uh, we can finance your election. We understand that you need money for it. We have a few millions we can give to you. Now, in one condition, provided we're going to give you $20 million, provided that you vote a law or you support a law that's going to say in the future, every car needs to be equipped with a camera. Okay, and this camera has got an AI system installed in it that will determine whether a driver is fit to drive or not. Now, we are the company that create those cameras, the company that installed the AI system and take care of it. So what's going to happen is what? I finance you as a politician to vote laws, okay, to get in power. And once you get in power, what you do is you vote laws that's going to send money back to me. And that is the same system that has happened with weapons and guns and all that stuff that you know. Big companies like uh, Rocket Martin that produce a lot of guns, a lot of bombs, missiles, um, Raytheon, Lockheed Martin, Raytheon, Boeing, all these companies have sponsored a lot of politicians in the US, a lot of Congress people. These Congress people even have their money invested into the stock markets of these companies. So what does that mean? That means whenever there's war, whenever there's a situation, these congressmen can only vote for the war to continue. Why? So that their people or the people that sponsor them can make money out of the war. Meaning if Lockheed Martin will send thousands of missiles, Lockheed Martin is making money. So the congressperson that received money from Lockheed Martin has sent money back to Lockheed Martin that sponsored him to get into power. And I, I don't know if you're together. Are we together? Yeah, this is very sad. Okay, this is very sad. I think this is worrisome. Why do you need a camera to look into you, to manage you? Why do you need to give the police? Why do you need to give the police the right to turn your car off? We know that people have different political views. We cannot all agree on everything. We know that people have different political views. We cannot all agree on everything. Okay? So now let's put it this way. Let's say the government has a rule. A rule that's really dramatic, that's really crazy, unacceptable. And you don't 
accept those rules. You're not happy with the rules. Let me give you a simple example. You remember when things started, when everybody was blocked home. Not everybody wanted to be vaccinated, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say the full word because we're getting censored. Not everybody was okay with being vaccinated without prior proof of, you know, experience. Not everybody wanted to use their body as a, right? What did they say? They said they're going to block you from home. You're not going to be able to purchase anything. Do you remember that? They say you will not be allowed to go to hospital. You will not be allowed to go to markets. You will not be allowed to purchase anything. In South Africa, okay, in South Africa, people got fired from their jobs. In South Africa, people were kicked off their possibilities because they did refuse to be right. Now, what has happened today? Has those people, have those people been compensated for being evicted from their jobs? Because we all thought that before that thing ended, everybody had to be vaccinated, right? We thought everybody had to take the shot. Now, has that happened? No. Now, you tell me, if, that, if one person refuses in the future, if one person refuses in the future to take whatever shot that they want, and he takes a car and want to drive to a different city, can the police have the right to stop this car from moving because he refused, because he disobeyed the government? You see what I'm saying? That is the level of control. If you have an app where you can only access using your face and you disagree with government, will you ag access your money even though it belongs to you and it's in a bank that is a third party just because they have to obey the rules of the government? You see why we need cash in the hand. You need your money. You need your cash. Everything should be electronic. I don't believe everything should be electronic. I do like electronic. I think it's a good thing. It's good to progress. It's good for, you know, whatever we can do. It's great that we can send money from Zambia to Uganda in, on the click of a button. It's great that you can send money to the village, to your grandmother when she needs it. That's cool. But I don't believe every piece of cash should be erased. I don't believe that. I think people should be able to use their cash because cash is a level of freedom. People pushing for cashless society thinking it's progress. It's not. If you look at it with clear eyes, it, it's control. It means... If a company decides not to allow your transaction, it's not going to happen, even though you have money. Same thing for the cars we're talking today. They want to vote a law, you know, uh, to get cars installed with cameras by 2026. And by 2026, if America does it, trust me, your country is going to follow suit. Because your country needs to follow suit with America so they can be on the good side of America. Everybody want to be on the good side of America. Most of the countries want to be on the good side of America. Because then they can access funding, they can access opportunities, uh, they're going to speak positively for them at World Bank so they can get credit and debt. You know what I'm saying? Is this okay? What is wrong with human beings? What is wrong with the way we used to drive? When people are drunk, let them go do that to themselves. I mean, it's your responsibility. Is it the responsibility of people, of us, of all of us, to prevent people from driving drunk? I mean, no. I understand when people are drunk, they take victims with them. But isn't that part of faith? That's part of fate. What can you do about it? What about people that choose to go and run in the street in front of a truck? Just, you know, with your crazy mind, you run in, in front of a truck. You can still cause accident. So now, in order to protect people, should we give up all our ability for privacy? Should we give up our, our rights for security? I don't think we should do that. Let me know how you feel about this. I know this is very divided sort of uh, thinking. Installing an AI system in cars so that the AI system you know, equipped with a camera can look into your face and decide whether you are impaired or whether you are drunk. And then the police has access to this device. They can basically stop your car whenever they want, whether you're driving in a forest, whether you're driving to your village looking for peace or for something you're accused of, they can just stop your car. Is that something good? You remember a few m months back in Kenya, some dude came to Kenya with a system uh, scanning people's eyes. You remember that? They gave Kenyan money, $50. For $50, come give your eye. Give your, you know, your, your eye imprint. And it's very sad because a lot of Kenyan went because a lot of people are poor. They have no money, no opportunity. So $50 means a lot of things in Kenya. You can buy a lot of food and, and be okay for the normal 
dude why do we give up so much power what are they going to do with those eyes that data what is it for they're taking your eye away they're taking your voice away they're taking your face away now they're going to put cameras in cars what is the final goal what are they looking to achieve a completely controlled world where you cannot speak a thing you cannot do anything they want to take your eye so that when you access the internet they can differentiate between you and ai or you and any other robot or you and any other entity that's not really you i think that's crazy how about we live the way we used to live you know buy some vegetables have some chickens in the backyard and have a nice life in a village or whatever that is don't are you i mean are you, don't you guys want that for yourselves have a little bit of freedom not necessarily having everything connected to the internet where you can basically just have fun as an african person does africa has to be like china for us to say africa has moved forward i don't think so let me know how you feel about this always a great pleasure god bless